Today we're going to be building the ultimate tsunami survival boat capable of withstanding the worst of the worst tsunamis and storms this game brings on. Let's go ahead and get started and build this ultimate tsunami survival boat. All right, we're in the builder's menu here. We're going to go ahead and start building this hull. So we're going to do this. This is going to be the way front of the boat here. One by twos here. This should make it look pretty decent all right yep that's the right front of the ship we're building right now then we're gonna go ahead and actually extend these out to however long we want this boat so i'm gonna go ahead and keep building this and then i'll cut back when we are finished all right we got the front all built i think this is a little too high so we're gonna cut two layers off the top here don't want to do that part delete all of that perfect all right so then up here, we can have a little curvature thing going on, I think. So if we do something like this, so if I grab a one by two and then we grab a one by two wedge, I think it is. No, that's a pyramid. All right, one by two pyramid. I'm not all used to the name of the blocks in this game, but yeah, here we go. It smooths it out pretty well there. We can do that. And then we're gonna do a little bit of stuff here. And then I think we could add like a window up here. So yeah, let's go ahead and add a window. I feel like that'd look cool and make it look more modern because it is gonna look a little funky because it is only made for surviving tsunamis, but Maybe we could add like some rescue equipment in it just in case, but we definitely are going to need some of that. And I'm just looking at this. I can tell this is going to be a little bit too long. We're going to also cut two off the sides here of the walls, and that should make it a little smaller and look a little better. We don't want it to be that big of a ship. Uh, some of you might want me to build a big ship. Maybe we can do that in the next building video, but right now we're just going to be doing some simple stuff here because this is like one of the first things i'm building only on uh, recording so i built a whole bunch of other stuff yeah that front part is all uh looking pretty good let's go ahead and start on the bottom here so this is where all the interesting stuff happens we need to build this very good or else this boat will not actually be stable here so let's go ahead make a line like that and then maybe we could do a whole another one here there we go and then we'll grab some wedges here to make this all look flat and smooth, of course. We gotta make it look perfect. And then we'll grab a pyramid for this bottom part here, and this will do a major part in stability, so a big part will be hanging down below the ship here. And this will definitely help with our stability a lot. So let's go ahead and get this done, and I'll cut back to you when we are finished. All right, we got that part done. Let's go ahead and extend it now. So this will be like how far the boat is. We'll just do that far for now. It might be longer or shorter, but it all depends on how stable it is we need this thing to just be very stable because we're not trying to capsize but if we do capsize we need it to flip back over so we have to figure out an entire system for that so that's always going to be fun but here we go we are doing the walls and there we go that's kind of the bottom of the ship we're going to extend it actually a little more do you think we should yeah so what we're going to do here is actually flatten it out um i don't know if this is exactly going to look too good but it's definitely going to help with stability i can confirm on that part so extend it out there we go all right that looks nice. And then right here, um, what should we do right here? Here, I have an idea. This will actually look quite good, I think. So you know how some ships have like that thing sticking out? I don't know what it's for, to be honest. Let me know in the comments what that thing's for. I have no idea. But it has that little thing sticking out, and that will make it look a little better. I don't know. Let me know if we should do it with or without. If you guys don't like that, I will delete it in the next video. But yeah, that's already pretty low enough. I think that's low, so... You can go ahead, delete all this stuff here, and then fill it with blocks, and then we could add some weight to the bottom. We need to go ahead and do that, because um, this thing is definitely going to be floating way too high. So we're going to do a three layer of weight blocks all the way down. So this will weigh the boat down on the bottom. We want the center of mass to be as low as possible. That'll help the boat float way better, be better in waves and storms and tsunamis, of course. And yeah, it'll just do better in general. All right, I think that is pretty long for the boat. We'll extend it like another two blocks. And then we can start building like the base of where the engine is at and like some interior walling. I guess we can do that. But um, we still actually need to build like the helm area on top of the boat. And then we still need an area for bilge pumps. So maybe under here. I feel like under here would be a great area for bilge pumps. Let's, let's go ahead and see if a bilge pump could fit under there. Large bilge pump. Here we go. Um, one by two. So if we did the flooring right here, a bilge pump could fit under there and that would work. So we could have all of our like utility stuff in here, maybe some engines. I don't think an engine could fit under there, but we'll see. We can have like electric emergency engines possibly, but we'll get all into that in a new video with our engines building stuff. All right, we're gonna start on the back of the ship right now. So back in this part, we have to like level it out somehow. I don't know how I should do this like at all. So we're just gonna go off what of I think looks good. Let me know if I should change anything, of course, because I want it to look as good as possible. And I want it to float as good as possible because we're going to run this thing into tsunamis. Of course, we're going to test this thing out and actually see if it can survive tsunamis. But 
I don't know if we're gonna do that in this video specifically because it is not anywhere near done yet, I don't think. All right, we're just gonna flatten it out like that. Okay, and then we can do another one. I don't know if I'm a big fan of what's going on right here. It's like, it looks too flat if you guys know. Like, it's just, I don't know. Here, maybe we could do something like this. Do that, would that look good? That does make it look a little better. Um, I don't know, we'll just do something like that for now. Um, should it be flat like that? Should we just flatten it out or should we add more to it? Um, honestly, I think it looks pretty good flat like that. I'm like zooming out so far thinking it's going to look better, but I don't know. Should we make it go more down? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things I'm thinking of right now, but I think this is good for now. You could have our propeller right here. You could add, we could have our propeller blade sticking out of here. Let's go ahead and get a pipe because the pipe is like the drive terrain and stuff. So pipe and then i think like that we could get a propeller now let's get a large one so a large one is going to power this thing um should we do large yeah lar large one looks pretty good and we need to get some things that stick down for our turning so we actually do need turning hopefully we have turning all right that's definitely something we need to have in this thing turning is very important and we need to figure out we need to have we need to have emergency turning too just in case like a shark attacks and breaks something um, so that is too close, I think. So we need to extend that a little more. I don't know. All right, we kind of have it flattened out there. We're definitely not going to keep it like that. That looks absolutely terrible. But here we go. We turned off symmetry, so all the propellers will turn the same way. But that looks a little wonky. That looks so bad. Okay, um, what should we do with this? We should actually have the rudders one block lower. I think that looked better. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, they're now one block lower. Let's go ahead and flatten this out, make it look a little better. It looks really weird right now. But that's fine. We're it's like the beginning of it, so it's not gonna always look perfect. But we do need a oh uh, shoot. I don't know if that looks good. It looks like it's not even connected. How should we do this? I do not know. Here, maybe we'll do this. A block there. Then we can do the one, just a normal wedge there. There we go. That looks good. And then we should flatten it out. Oh, we can't flatten it out there. That kind of looks weird. Um, we can delete these here, and then we can grab a one by two, and then we can that there we go now that looks a little better okay now it's starting to look like a ultimate tsunami survival boat so this is gonna be fun okay here we go so now we have to build the helm area we're gonna want it to peak up a little bit here so we don't want it to like be an entire stand-up area we just want like a little window space to be honest we don't want anything crazy so maybe like that is that too much you think do you think we should do it like that i don't know I, we'll just have to experiment with it because i do not know but i think like that would look cool oh shoot it's not on symmetry it wasn't on symmetry so we have to rebuild that that happens all the time if you've ever played this game you definitely know that that happens i think it looks good like that and then we could do something like this and then that could be like a little window there and then we can maybe have like some bunk beds on this upper floor here and maybe some windows or something i don't know we'll just have to figure it out but yeah that looks something like that would look quite interesting yeah that does look pretty good okay it looks very interesting honestly this is a interesting type of boat i'm designing i have no idea guys we're gonna want we want a lot of view because we need to see where the tsunami is coming from of course but we don't want that we want a two by three something like this yeah here we go and we want it's another back so we have to do that and then we'll delete that later and then we can add some support beams in between these windows like this because we want really good stability on this thing and supports because we don't want this thing collapsing in on itself that is the last thing i'd want to happen but here we go i'm gonna grab a wedge and then make this look more smooth here perfect perfect and then we can also use this wedge to flatten it out like right here i think that'd look good there you go yeah that is starting to look nice here i'm gonna have to redo this part actually right here so let's go ahead and do that we'll grab this pyramid like this and then we can grab a pyramid there we go and then now it looks the same but it looks flattened out there we go all right put some windows on the sides right here so windows uh two by three you think yeah two by three would work right here then we're gonna need a two by uh or a one by two let's grab a one by two and stuff it right there so then now we have like a we can have like the helm like right here or something on this one of these sides probably the right side and um, it looks really weird actually i'm actually i think we're just gonna keep it like this so we're just gonna only have the windows up there because it looks a little weird when they're lower than the actual like thing then we're gonna put a one by one in this corner right here and then over here we need a two by three okay okay nice nice two by three window that's on two by three there we go two by three window you got the windows all done perfect it looks very nice so far now we're gonna go ahead and flatten this area out right here so i think we should do it like that i don't know uh definitely not okay we need to like do some type of design here because i don't want it to be 
just completely flat like that. Maybe you could do something like this here. We do that and then maybe a pyramid here. Would that look good? Oh yeah, that looks really nice actually. That That's a pretty nice design we got going on there. And then we could make some wedges like this. So now it's at an angle, it has more design to it. That's what we want. We want it to look pretty good. So then we could grab another one of those pyramids. Control and click to get the block again. Go ahead and do that, there we go. Now this will have a smoother edge to it. And then there we go. All right, that looks pretty good, has some design to it. And then we're gonna flatten this out. We can add some like windows or something back down there. Grab some one by one wedges or just the normal wedge. Keep calling it one by one. It's really not the name of it, but there we go. Then we could actually put some windows back here, a rear view um, window here. So that look nice like that. I feel like that would... for the rear mirrors. We're actually just going to do a one mirror because I don't know if it looks good with the mirrors all the way down there. I keep saying mirrors. It's windows. I'm so sorry. Put the window there. All right. We'll put it there. We need a one by two one. Do we? Is that even a thing? One by two. Um, it should be somewhere. Yep. Here we go. One by two window, and this should fit perfectly. There we go. All right. Uh, should be waterproof now. Should we go ahead and test it? I don't know. Should we actually make those lower win windows? I don't know. All right. We'll just figure all that out later. So let's see if it floats. We're testing if it floats. Why am I in the water like a mile away? Uh, it is floating, but it is not stable at all. Um, do we have a leak in here? No, we don't. Okay, it's waterproof. That is a good sign. It's looking quite nice. So we're having some stability issues. That's fine. Always happens. Totally. Every time you spawn in your boat first, it's never going to sit correctly the first time. I can tell you that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get some more weight blocks down here. That'll definitely help. This thing only weighs like 2,700. Most boats weigh a lot. So in this game, boats are a crazy amount of weight. So we just need to add more weight blocks at the bottom of the boat, and that'll definitely help this situation out way better. Uh, spawn those in. All right, it weighs 3,400 now, so a couple hundred more. Hold on, let's keep it flat. No wind. Wind is actually on max right now, so that's the highest wind we'll ever get. Yeah, I could add some fins on the side to fix this issue, and then we could get an active stabilizer maybe in it. All right, now we're going to be adding some flooring. So right here is where I think the flooring should be. I tested it, and it is at the perfect level. So let's go ahead and put some flooring there. We also need to level this stuff out. It does look a little weird in here like that. So at, make it look like there's some support beams in there. All right, perfect. Got a little back area there. I think we could actually have a staircase here that goes to the back, like maybe on the side right here, a staircase that goes down because we're going to have decks under here with some bunk beds. Of course, we have we need to fit a whole bunch of people in here. All right. So I added an emergency escape hatch just in case. Um, I don't know. This is probably not going to be the main entrance hatch. We'll probably have it back here somewhere. But yeah, emergency escape hatch just in case stuff goes wrong. And then I added a staircase down here, as you can tell. So this is where we will get down the stairs at. And then there will be some bunk beds and seating areas. And our engine bay will be back here. But yeah, all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and fill this flooring in. Um, I don't know if this is definitely not tall enough. Um, let's see. What should we do with that? We're going to turn on symmetry here and turn that on. And then fill all this in um, this area. You can like probably crouch through this, but I don't know here. We're going to have to go ahead and test this. I almost cleared the vehicle. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and spawn it in. See what kind of walling we should add. Um, Where's the spawn in at? There we go. All right. It's bouncing around a little bit. It is stable though. Relatively stable just for having nothing inside of it is actually impressive. A little bit too much weight in the front, I think. Yeah, it's leaning a bit towards the front, but here we go. This is the stuff. It is pretty small in here. I can't even jump. Um, I don't know if this is too low, but yeah, it's actually probably too low. Uh, we probably need to lower the floor a little bit. It is like impossible to walk in here on some points. But yeah, we're going to go to crouch and then we can crouch under here. I don't know if we're going to be able to crouch under here if we do lower the blocks. So we're on a really tight space here. All right, we're just going to go ahead and lower the flooring here. We got to do that. Of course, it is way too high. So our head was like hitting the ceiling. That is not what we want to do there. Uh, I just blocked it off. We need to turn off symmetry and delete this stuff here. Perfect. Perfect. Our stairwell is there. We should be able to stand up in here. And I don't know if we can actually crouch through here anymore, but we're going to go ahead and test that right now. Hopefully we can. But yeah, it's looking quite nice. This is going to be a fun little series we got going on here. So now we can actually jump in here and walk around. That's good. And we can see out the windows perfectly. So we can go down the stairs without hitting our head on that. That's nice. Then we can crouch through here also. So everything's going to plan. This is nice. We could have some seating up here just in case. 
whole bunch of fun stuff so let's go ahead and continue building this we do have paints added to it let me know if you guys like this design uh we have some identification equipment right here so just some paint not equipment and then if we flip over and actually capsize for some reason which will never happen hopefully unless we have like a ton of water on board we have an sos sign so people will know that we probably shouldn't be capsized and any helicopters or boats should be able to read this perfectly fine and then up here in the helm i added a helm spot and then right here we'll have some like navigation equipment with some radar and all that fun stuff and we actually need to add like some type of communication equipment up here so let's go ahead and grab a radio and let's get a huge one we need the best communication possible or we put the radio on the back or on the top right here i don't know if this is a good spot let me know in the comments of course just let me know what i should add to this thing and just yeah so we're gonna have some monitors here so we could just but some fake monitors here because um, I don't know exactly what kind of monitors we'll have. We'll have to look on Workshop for some cool microcontrollers with some cool Lua display systems because we need to have a radar one. And then I want like a radio. Uh, we can actually, we need a monitor for a radio one too. So let's go ahead and grab that. Have the radio on like right here. Yeah, that'd look nice. And then we'd have some buttons here to talk on the radio. Yeah, it's all looking quite nice. It's pretty cozy in here. And then down here, we, I built a little engine bay area. We'll have to block this out because, yeah, we also need to build like compartments. So if you know what I mean by that, uh, just in case we start taking on water, we need to have separate compartments so the water can't spread. So like we need to have doors and places as much as possible. So like right here, we could have a door. Let's flip that. All right. So then in this compartment, only water should be in this one. It should not spread to this one. That's probably going to be it for this building video. Let me know what I should add to this thing in the comments. Make sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description as always. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell. I will be building onto this thing way more and we will make it unsinkable. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.